Hello, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen So today I would like to explain about how to create a Google Form And then this Google Form specifically got the email um, functions And after those email functions is being inserted by triggers And the client or customer can obtain the receive a copy or specific email that said uh, congratulate Or say thank you for your uh, purchase and so on Alright, so this is actually a review form Okay, so this review form uh, should be setting up using the collect email address over here and then um, I'm going to uncheck the uh, next submission link and then this is about the review of the product Okay, of the product so perhaps I would like to have the review and after they review it um, then I can uh, give them a specific uh, gift or specific uh, coupon uh, for them to keep it okay let's say this one is for the postage okay so this one is for the um, packaging okay so the next one is the product itself and then the last but not least is more on the delivery so there are five options uh, by Likert scale um, so one indicate um, very poor five indicate very good so I might want uh, to ask them to do this and then uh, insert another one will be a comment so after they insert all these details then um, they are going to generate uh, um, the system are going to receive those um, feedbacks where I can further analyze it later on and then the most important thing is we want uh, to send an email to them also to say that oh, thank you very much for buying this thing and that thing and then we want to give them a specific coupon uh, for a specific period of time by certain um, internet linkages so after they click that, those link then they are available to um, download the coupon uh, to be used for the next purchase okay so the first step you have to go to the more here under this button you got this three dot okay and then proceed with the script editor under the script editor we might want to do some sort of um, coding write up um, that specify um, under this project so we have to rename our project first so uh, just put it here as a review uh, form okay and then click ok and then uh, we are going to start up to write up our code okay so the function is actually we are going to use the send email function so this is the event uh, of it and then we are going to create a few variables okay so the first variable will be var html okay html service uh, dot uh, create we are going to um, create form string file name so we are going to use this one okay so the file name we are going to indicate here um, as email dot html so we are going to uh, produce this email after this so the next variable will be variables uh, html tags so html tags is all right so this one make sure it's got the space bar over here otherwise the, the code might um might occur some error so we are going to use the uh, evaluate function and then uh, dot okay we pocket we proceed with the dot get um, content so the get content must be in the string format okay and then you proceed with the variables also uh, we need to create another one which is the email to so email to is specifically for email response uh, to get respondent email okay so this is the function and then we proceed with the next variable will be the subject so the subject is more towards us to say something to the um, client so probably we, we just say thanks okay so the next subject will be the text body so the text body uh, be careful with the um, I mean the capital letter in the middle of it because um, otherwise you might run error to this code this uh, email is for you as our appreciation okay make sure you put this uh, semicolon okay the thanks also here should be indicate semicolon right so the next one is var options so the var options here should be included as the um, curly bracket <coughs> so the curly bracket must be html body um, double dot html task okay so uh, we proceed with the if functions if um, email to is not equal okay this is what we call as a undefined 
is not equal so therefore we put a curly bracket over here and then uh, proceed with the gmail um, gmail app dot send email so we have to use this one okay because this is a curly bracket we put down here so that we don't confuse ourselves so this one should be email too so the subject uh, should be remain a subject so the body will be the text body and then the options will be remain uh, like that okay um, so basically we finish up right up our uh, simplest code over here and don't forget to um, save it and then you can proceed with the file and then create new HTML file so this HTML file we name it as email.html so make sure the name is correct okay this is very important because we want to create the paragraph uh, specify our um, words to, uh, to the customer okay um, okay and then you can um, write here thanks for uh, buying our product okay example then you might want to put some sort of uh, link please download the link uh, or the coupon here so probably you want to put some sort of um, link hyperlink um, so that your customer can download it freely and then they can have it um, by their own okay best regard you can just put some some sort of uh, uh, digital okay this one is called digital transformation DTT okay and then uh, close the uh, paragraph here okay so it's finished already so now uh, what you need to do is actually you save everything inside your script um, and then don't forget to create a trigger because the trigger is very important uh, to manage um, the mechan the automation mechanism for this all right so this one is my previous project i'm going to delete it okay so if you open uh, to your triggers you are going to open the google app script and then proceed with the um, create uh, triggers over here so you go to my triggers no result right and then um, you can um, you can create a triggers actually over here um, i cannot see the functions okay let me just refresh it my trigger okay so i'm so sorry let us rerun it back um all your trigger current project okay current project trigger just go to the current project trigger over here and then uh, it is untitled project um, you can give a project name lah over here um, if you wish to uh, but in this um, in this case i'm just going to add the trigger automatically so the trigger will be sent email uh, deployment should be run from the head um, select event source is actually from form and then event type is upon submissions and notify me daily if there is any um, error okay so do not forget to also um, verify and give the credentials of your email otherwise um, the script cannot be run smoothly so you can just uh, click allow here and there and then it's safe already and then you can proceed to um, your next step which is you can try for this one okay so for the purpose of this thing i'm going to try it out now so just put my email over here and then <coughs> just put something and then we are going to have a look whether we receive the email or not as simple as that so uh, by right um, the email are going to be um, created I mean the response are going to be given we got the response from the client already okay alhamdulillah so this is the uh, idea so we got the link of it thanks for buying our product please download the link for the coupon here so um, it's actually done and uh, that's all for today hopefully it is, it is uh, very useful for you uh, if you are uh, feel very tired in writing up this code so please feel free to have it uh, in the, the link description below see you again next time bye bye assalamualaikum and have a nice day